What's up guys, the Hackspot here and today we're going to the dark side by comparing Apple's iOS 13 dark mode to the one you would get on iOS 12 with jailbreak tweaks. So with this, you can really decide if it's worth upgrading to iOS 13 and losing your jailbreak. Let's get started. All right, so what do we have here? On the left, we have iOS 12 with a jailbreak running. The tweak I have for running dark mode on iOS 12 is Noctis for iOS 12 and this essentially gives you a full system-wide dark mode on iOS 12, great jailbreak tweak. Now on the right side, we have iOS 13 with the native dark mode that is now now built into the software. So now the question remains, which one is better? Is it worth it to lose your jailbreak completely to update to iOS 13? Because although iOS 13 does have a great number of new features, dark mode seems to be the biggest as to deciding factor if you want to upgrade. So let's start with the settings application. Can you notice any difference over here? So we are over here on iOS 12 on the left and again iOS 13 on the right. You guys can see that they both look practically identical. So this is a settings app and what you get on iOS 13 versus iOS 12 with the jailbreak tweak Noctis. So settings looks about the same. So yeah, there's that. Now a big change that I do like is with Apple Music in dark mode. I hated the blinding white they used to get and now they have fixed it with the dark mode. And so yeah, let's go and see if it's better on iOS 13. So this is what it looks like on iOS 12 on the left and then on the right on iOS 13. So again, it looks practically the same. I'm really impressed with the jailbreak tweak. Let's go over to some music over here and look at this, guys. So they did a great job. Whoops, music started playing. But yeah, I can see, you can see all the titles and descriptions. All the buttons are clear and visible on both. Even the little volume bar, it shows good on both devices. It's a little bit darker on iOS 13, I can see, versus iOS 12 with the Noctis tweak. But yeah, regardless, dark mode works great on both devices. If I head over to the search, again, you guys can see, you can see all the text and there's no problem there. Now it's going to X out of here and show you guys control center. So again, you got dark mode working on both of these. It looks fantastic and I love it. And yeah, Noctis is doing really well for being a jailbreak tweak. Now here we are inside the phone application. Again, same thing. They look basically identical. It's crazy how similar these dark modes are. I thought there'd be some flaws in a jailbreak version. And let's go ahead and go into some other applications. Let's head on over to the app store. And again, they both look fantastic on iOS 13 and iOS 12 with Noctis. Look at that. They're about identical, basically. So look at this. I mean, everything is visible. You don't have any text that is blacked out, so you cannot see it. Perfect. Now, here's a difference that I found with Noctis. It doesn't really work on the Notes application. Not sure if Eclipse works better on that, but here it is on iOS 13. The Notes application does look better, and it's not the regular white version, so it's actually a dark mode. So... There it does win on Apple's iOS 13. Now on Safari with browsing the web, it gets interesting. For some reason, there isn't a dark mode on iOS 13, but there is with the Noctis jailbreak tweak, but it doesn't really work too well. Let me go and show you guys what I mean. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in a Google search. I've been wanting a Zelda LED lamp. Over here, it's good, but on some web pages, it does kind of distort a little bit. So let me try to find an example. Let's go over here and let's see if it still works well. On some pages, it's like too dark. The text is not right, but on some websites, it's good. Like, look at this one, it's perfect. So it's gonna X out of here. I mean, it does work, but it's not perfect. So here we are on apple.com. You guys could see it has a dark mode. It works, but you got still like, white areas and it can get kind of annoying and just looks very odd and unusual but the address bar is also not showing on the top you kind of had to guess where it is and just tap on it but yeah at least we have a dark mode on safari versus on ios 13 you don't really have it i mean the top and bottom is kind of darkened a little bit and so yeah there it is on ios 13 now you also get this dark keyboard on ios 13 and in some places on noctis with the jailbreak on ios 12 that seems to be missing i can see my keyboard is still white over here so that could be fixed with a jailbreak tweak that is specific to making your keyboard dark but yeah there's that. Messages on both is pretty identical except on iOS 12 with the jailbreak tweak. It's not as good. Yeah, I can see where it says new message on the top. It does not really show, but on iOS 13, they have perfected it as it is a native iOS application. Apple did, made it perfect. So yeah, there's that. Now here's Apple Maps on both. So I noticed on iOS 12 with the jailbreak, the colors seem to be inverted. So you guys can see the highway and on Apple Maps on iOS 13, with the official dark mode, it does look a lot better. So yeah, I can see the high right there is orange instead of blue over here. 
and the buttons right there are still white. Over here is blue, so it kind of makes it a little bit harder to see. So yeah, it gets kind of inverted on iOS 12 with the Noctis jailbreak tweak and it works better on iOS 13. Now on Instagram and other social media apps like Snapchat that don't have a built-in dark mode, they do look the same. I mean, there's not a dark mode that works on those. But if you're on Twitter and like YouTube, there is a built-in dark mode that can enable in the settings of those applications. But yeah, those are app specific. So yeah. Instagram, it doesn't automatically dark mode it. And same thing with Snapchat. So that's unfortunate. And same thing goes for other third party apps like MyFitnessPal. You can see that look exactly the same. Now, if you want to update to iOS 13 simply for the dark mode and lose all your jailbreak tweaks, in my opinion, it's not worth it. I just love jailbreak so much. Get so many more features like having all your emojis at the bottom right there. You can go and swipe through them and just go tap on them more easily. You got the custom animations. You can make apps open a lot quicker. I, this is one of my favorite features of the jailbreak that you could add with a jailbreak tweak. Again, apps just open a lot quicker. You could do this with an animations be fast tweak. So yeah, I mean, that makes a huge difference for me in day-to-day -day usage. Having more icons on your home screen, being able to see your battery percentage on the top right without having to swipe down, and being able to double tap and putting it in a low power mode. So yeah, in my opinion, it's not really worth upgrading to iOS 13 just for dark mode. The dark mode on iOS 12 with the jailbreak is pretty good, and it also works somewhat in Safari, and I haven't really wanted to go back to iOS 13 just for the dark mode. So yeah, for me personally, I don't, find the need to upgrade to iOS 13. I like having a joke break more, so I will be using this device as my main daily driver. But yeah, guys, that basically concludes this video. I want to know your guys' opinion as well. Have you updated to iOS 13 and lost your joke break? Do you think it's worth it? Or will you be updating to iOS 13 in the future and again, lose your joke break? Is it worth it? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button and also be sure to get subscribed so you don't miss out on any future content. As always, this is the Hackspot and... Peace out.